Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie and coming up on today's show it's uh, the uh, transfer window. So uh, we'll be uh, making some new signings, showing you who's leaving the club and uh, building the uh, squad for next season in the championship. Roll the titles. <laughs> Okay, so we begin by looking at uh, the uh, players released and uh, you'll notice that they are all um, young players. There's none of the, uh, the first team squad has been released. So we've got Nicholas Davis, uh, Dixon, Evans, Maloney, Ryan, Sabag Sabagabo and uh, Richards have all been uh, released. And as of yet, I've got nothing, uh, nothing uh, lined up to to come in. So the uh, first thing we need to do is have a look at the uh, the squad. So let's do that now, and uh, we'll then decide what we need and who we need to get rid of. So we've got two goalkeepers. Roos and McGill so goalkeeper wise I think we're well set McGill's a backup but will eventually replace Cal Roos um, Ramsey is right back but uh, Ramsey and Hamer are the right backs Harry Clark I'll go into because he is actually predominantly a centre back for us so he's a two and a half star centre back, Harry Clark, with three and a half star potential. So he's definitely one we want to keep around. And Cornell McDonald is a right back. So I think what I will need to do is probably let Cornell McDonald leave and bring in another two. Uh, at least central defenders probably three so that's the uh, the first order of business so let's do that now let's uh, transfer this Cornell McDonald um, so we'll offer him out at 500,000 transfer list him and offer the clubs so Cornell McDonald is leaving, hopefully. We've got uh, Abby away needs to go. He's only 19, but he's two and a half to three and a half star potential. And we've got two better options at right wing. So we'll get rid of Abby away. So let's uh, offer him out. And we'll offer him out for two hundred thousand pounds. So let's cut that to two hundred. And transfer list and offer him out. And so that's heavy away. I'm happy with the uh, the left wing options, although Isaac Hutchinson, I think we can probably afford to let go so we'll let Isaac Hutchinson leave offer to clubs um, but we'll loan him out rather than permanently um, he's only on 1600 quid a week so we'll get his wages paid in full and we want him to be an important player for wherever he goes and he is going to be a left winger. So we want uh, attacking midfielder left. And we'll offer him out and list him for loan. But we don't need to bring in another one. 
and then we've got Kyle Joseph and Tom Bradshaw as our striking options both of which are decent players so that's fine so I need to bring in two centre backs and a defensive midfielder so let's start by trying to uh, to line up some targets so centre backs free transfers do that first of all and we've got three possibilities so we'll look at Anton Wilkes for walks first of all um, they rate him as a good signing so let's have a look at him so he's potentially a four star player he's at least two and a half potentially three and a half stars at the moment so we'll bring walks in on trial transfer off a trial and we'll bring him in for four weeks so that's Anton walks Gabriel Osho, we're going to be signing two centre-backs, Gabriel Osho, um, we'll offer a trial to, he's pretty much guaranteed to be offered a contract, so we'll get him in on trial, so Osho and Capellini, we don't know anything about, so we'll offer him a trial. and get him in so two of those we'll be looking to bring in and then it was defensive midfield so we'll get and we're looking for one because we've already got Max Bird so let's do that now um, defensive midfielder and free transfer and it's suggested Jacob Davenport so let's uh, get him a trial for four weeks bring him in okay And I will uh, come back to you once I know uh, whether we've got some um, players leaving that we've offered out and to confirm that we've uh, either got or not got the uh, players that we've uh, gone for. So I will speak to you very, very shortly. Hello and welcome back. It is now the 15th of July. And over the last couple of weeks, uh, we've made five new signings and uh, we have uh, seen another three players depart the club. Uh, I'll start with the uh, departures. So Hutchinson has gone out on loan to Oxford United for the season. So Isaac Hutchinson departs on loan. Um, Abbey away leaves for Peterborough on a permanent transfer for £100,000. Uh, he was a winger. And uh, Cor Cornell MacDonald uh, leaves for Lincoln City on a permanent transfer. He was a right back. And we have brought in Ben Parrington on a free transfer. He is a 27 year old uh, left back who can also play left wing back and centre back. So he's a, a very decent uh, option at left back and a player I know well. Uh, Jacob Davenport is a defensive midfielder or a central midfielder and uh, he comes in uh, on a free transfer Alfie Jones 
we've spent £2.1 million pounds on from Hull City. He's a centre-back and 25 years of age. So uh, he looks a very, very good player. So I'm very pleased to get him in. Uh, Pody O'Connor joins on a free transfer. Another centre-back. And finally, Callum Watts, who is also a centre-back. And that uh, again, another solid option. And that leaves the squad looking like this. So we've got McGill and Roos as the goalkeepers. McGill clearly the uh, the backup, but ultimately Cal Roos's long-term successor. We've then got uh, Ramsey and Hamer, the uh, two right backs. Harry Clark, although listed here as a right back, is actually a centre back. Um, we've now got Alfie Jones, Cullen Watts, Harrison Solomon is a, a backup centre back, and also Pody O'Connor at centre back. We've got uh, Ben Purrington is currently our only uh, left back, so we might look to get one in if we can get rid of one of uh, Harry Clark and Harrison Solomon. We'll look to get one more left back in. We've got Davenport and Bird as our um, defensive midfield options. Uh, in central midfield, we've got Dreyer, Slater and Knight. So we'll use two of those three at any one time. Um, Sibley and Mate on the right wing. Both very, very good players. And we've got... Um, Longman and Randall on the left with Isaac Hutchinson having left the, cl the club on loan so he'll come back and hopefully take Joel Randall's place for next season and then we have Kyle Joseph and Tom Bradshaw as our striker options so uh, I am going to try and get one more left back in um, but that, as I say, is contingent on me uh, getting rid of one of uh, Harry Clark and Harrison Solomon. Uh, if I manage to do that, I will come back to you uh, when that's done. If not, I will uh, speak to you uh, ahead of the, uh, the new season when we uh, confirm the final squad. It is now the uh, 9th of August and uh, since you were last with me I've added one more player to the squad and got rid of one of the uh, two players I wanted to get rid of. Um, so first of all the uh, player leaving is Harry Clark. He has joined Salford on loan for the rest of the season and uh, they're paying half of his wages which is, uh, is good enough. And uh, we have brought in Jordan Hackett from Tottenham for £650,000 and Jordan is a left back and uh, has three star current ability and four and a half star potential so is a more than useful uh, left back option for us and can also in an emergency play at centre back as well so that is the final signing that we're making this time and that uh, completes our squad which now looks like this so we've got Thomas uh, Thomas McGill and Cal Roos the goalkeepers uh, Kane Ramsey and Tom Hamer the goalkeepers let me just uh, clear the uh, players not at club so it makes it slightly easier for us to see so Ramsey and Hamer the right backs uh, Alfie Jones Cullen Watts, Harrison Solomon and Podio O'Connor the uh, centre backs Ben Purrington and Jordan Hackett, left-backs. We've got Jacob Davenport and Max Bird in defensive midfield. We've got a midfield trio of Luke Dreyer, Regan Salt, uh, Slater and Jason Knight. We've got uh, Louis Sibley and Yaku Meite as right-wingers. Ryan Longman and Joel Randall as left-wingers. Kyle Joseph and Tom Bradshaw as our strikers. And that is how the squad shapes up with the start of the season just three days away. I will uh, see you for the uh, opening game of the season 
in the next episode tomorrow. If you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.